Hi James, how Hi. are you doing? First of doing all, doing great. Feeling great Beautiful. in Milan. Absolutely, we're always excited coming here. Well, yeah. Tonight you will be playing the first of three dates in Milan mm -hmm. in a row, and uh, well, it's a really great theater over here in Milan. And mm -hmm. does it feel good to be playing in a theater after, well, after so many years, uh, you know, not having to deal with uh, crappy sound checks in uh, sport arenas and uh, yeah. things like that? I don't you know? deal with sound checks. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what? I, I mean, obviously, this the, the whole concepts. Uh, the, the concept for the for this tour was that we were going to go into soft seaters or theaters mm -hmm. and create this environment that would really kind of uh, embellish upon the whole storyline and the concept of the album and uh, the, those environments are perfect for this kind of uh, of a concert or, or production mm -hmm. and um, so yeah it is it, it's great to be going into these gorgeous rooms um, it's a little different for us in the sense that um, everyone's sitting down and we're not that that's a little different because m most of our uh, shows everyone's up in the air very animated very uh -huh. vocal I mean I'm sure they're still gonna be very vocal and they have been um, but um, it, it really is it's a much more intimate mm -hmm. um, engagement with our fans because um, you know the, uh, the, the rooms tend to be a little smaller, not the big arenas and stuff like that. But uh, we're having a great time. It's going off great. The, the, the fans' reaction so far has been tremendous mm -hmm. as far as, you know, that, that whole feeling and uh, the way that it, it, it uh, resides with them uh, throughout the evening in those kind of rooms. So, yeah, I think it, it's been great. You know, it's, it's something that we want to do for this tour. And... Um, We've been doing this almost 30 years, so we thought we'd mix it up a bit, and uh, yeah. it really does kind of uh, um, accentuate what it is, is trying to be conveyed or communicated mm -hmm. with this tour. Yeah. But, uh, when any band announces a rock opera, usually it involves a lot of guests and uh, both musicians and singers. Well, on the other hand, yeah, I'm you decided chameleon. to yeah. do everything by <laughs> yourself, well, by yeah. the band. When yeah. did you pick this, this decision? It's really interesting, you know, to have a rock opera. The, the, the decision <laughs> was that, you know, I mean, I think for a very brief moment, um, you know, John and I, uh, Petrucci, we were talking about the whole vocal approach to this album. Mm -hmm. And initially it was with maybe the possibility of including a couple of um, female mm -hmm. uh, vocalists to come in and, and do, obviously, you know, Arabelle and, and Faith. And, um, you know, I really think that we probably thought on that for about a day. Right. And then um, I came up to him and I said, um, basically, I said, no, I, I, I said, I really think um, to have everything very focused and have everything so that it's kept within what we're trying to achieve, that I need to do this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be something that's unprecedented for me. You know, I've done stuff like scenes from a memory and leonardo the absolute man i've done other albums that that were based around characters where i had to yeah. be become a character but this was you know full-on this this had to be um really exceptionally well thought out so that the voices really did um emulate the character and mm -hmm. they did convey it sincerely and genuinely so um it was a huge challenge for me but Actually, actually, very thrilling to right. to get into this and to see it come alive. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, but like I said, it was it was brief. We we were gonna go maybe the the typical rock opera route, but um, you know, then we we thought no, I think we should do it this way. Yeah, well, everyone yeah. is doing rock operas the other yeah. way, so it's a way yeah. to, to differentiate yeah. yourself. Yeah. Why not? We've always gone against the grain, right? All right. Well, yeah. we'll be having Avantasia next week here mm -hmm. in Milan so well Excellent. there will be no comparisons because it's totally two different things yeah having yourself doing everything yeah. but then have a huge party you know with singers and guests and yeah, such. yeah. that's great and, awesome uh, well given the fact that uh, I've seen some videos and uh, you are playing against uh, well there's a background with uh, 
screens and uh, mm -hmm. effects and the such. Yeah, the visuals, yeah, uh, sure. Does it in a way limit yourself in the spontaneity of, uh, of performing, you know, no. you, you, you need to be on cue on that? Of course you always are after yeah. all, but... I mean, you know, we've always um, played our shows where, you know, everything is timed mm -hmm. and all everything right. is, it's very meticulous and, and it has to be with our music or else it would be shambles. You know, it would be a catastrophe. All so right. it's almost become uh, more of a natural, you know, undertaking for us that, you know, everything is, is, uh, is being played so that it's all in sync. All right. And, um, but that does not um, uh, take away from the fact that you are performing, that you are live, that you are interacting with your fans. Mm -hmm. And you can't you can't be oblivious to that, or I, I think you're pretty much dead if the, if that was the situation. So no, I mean it, it's just the way that it has to be because of the kind of production, because of the show that we're doing. It has to be construed as such. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. And well, when the when the first show in Milan was announced, it was sold out in a few days, and then they announced another one, and mm -hmm. it got sold out, and then they announced a third right. one. Uh, and but and the astonishing wasn't even out when they got mm -hmm. sold out. So I saw it as a leap of faith from the fans uh, to, to you know yeah. get the yeah. ticket, knowing that you would be performing it in the album, and uh, yeah. they didn't know what to expect. So uh, what what does it tell about your fans? How did wow. you see I that? I mean, we've been coming here since 1992. I think it was our November 92 is the first time we were in in uh, Italy, and even from that very first show. It was very apparent to us that something um, very unique had happened here, mm -hmm. and that the fans completely got us right from the very first moment they heard us. And it's always been that way. Ever since then, even up until now, every time we've come through Italy, it has always been an incredible experience for the band and hopefully for the fans. Yeah. So um, you know, uh, it's you know, yeah, we were we were informed. We were told that you know the shows were we're already gone and we should have been doing more but obviously it's not within our schedule we're already All doing right. a ton of shows you know many many shows and and um so uh, you know it's it's just been uh, we we've been very blessed mm -hmm. our, our relationship with our italian fans has been fabulous well did you get did you hear anyone being disappointed by the fact that you are not playing a greatest hits at the yeah, end or course. something like that? Of, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you're not going to satisfy everyone. Yeah. We knew that there was going to be controversy there. Thank you. And, hi. <laughs> we know everybody at the hotel now. We're staying here for so long. Um, but um, we, we knew that. I mean, obviously, you know, um, you know, Dream Theater is based more on one album. It's based on several yeah. albums. It's, you know, our discography is... is um, is quite um, involved and um, I think uh, we knew that this would kind of um, bring along some discord with, right. with some of our fans but they have to accept the fact that this is what we're doing this is the kind of album mm -hmm. uh, that we're presenting which is a conceptual album and the only way that we feel that it can be played and played properly um, is from beginning to end mm -hmm. And um, this is what we're going to do. You know, we're going to go back to those yeah, tours. Sure. We're going to go back to where we're playing all the, the classics and, you know, going back to where I know many people will be thrilled doing, you know, uh, many songs from Six Degrees and so on. And, uh, oh, no, thank you. Thanks, Rick. Um, so, yeah, you know, but um, it's fine. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll <laughs> be the dream theater that we've been uh, in all the other tours once this has uh, seen its course. But, and, uh, is it a, in a way a relief for you not having to go on tour and playing and singing Pull Me Under or things like that? No, been... I mean, I love it. All right. I mean, believe it or not, uh, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, okay. you know, we, we, still, we still do love playing songs from Images, Awake, you know, Scenes from a Memory, Six Degrees, Train of Thought, you know, uh, it's... Yeah, Octavir, um, any, of, any of those albums, mm -hmm. there's songs on there that we are all very partial to and that we'd love to pull out and bring back onto, you know, the stage and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's, um, that's why I'm saying that it's inevitable that, that we will go back and we will be doing tours like that and, you know, and, uh, and uh, 
everyone will be happy. <laughs> well, it looks like everyone is already happy with what yeah, you're doing. Absolutely. Well, yeah, no, absolutely. everything's going great. This tour has been amazing. Yeah. Right. And well, I guess some people over here in Italy will be coming to the show for three nights in a row to leave it night after night to, to get mm. to take something something back That's home. That's because they suffer amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm kidding. And um, well, uh, but of course, the next step for a production like that would be going into a musical or stage musical or even mm. a movie. Have you considered that? You know, yeah, to make absolutely. to yeah. make people who, who love coming to your shows, but who are not coming to this tour because it's not passing closer or something. Mm -hmm. To see a story like this, which is a strong story and a strong performance by the band, turned mm -hmm. into something else, yeah. something more rather than a... Yeah, we're, we're in those discussions right now. And we're, oh, okay. You know, and we're investigating the possibility of, of those avenues um, availing themselves to mm -hmm. us. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, that, it's just good. in the works now, but and hopefully something will, will materialize. All right. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, the first multimedia thing coming out of The Astonishing will be uh, a video game. Do you know anything about it? Were you involved in any I mean, I'm, way? I'm, I'm aware of it. I mean, I haven't seen any of the details or, or that because I just didn't get myself in, in, into right. it knee deep, you know. But um, I'm aware of some of it and it, 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 what I've seen and uh, what I've heard and been, been told, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it looks like it. it will be expanding the world, which is yeah. even cooler, you know, using your songs, but, you know, playing in other areas. Yes, so, absolutely. No, I can't it's exciting. Wait to <laughs> it, it, it's extremely exciting. It, it'll be great. As it'll a gamer, I can't wait to, to see yeah. how it melts mm -hmm. together. Yeah, it'll be great. And, well, I have one last question for you. Uh, even the, the astonishing themes and the such. Uh, can you imagine a world without music, where music is banned, actually? Mm. Not be, without music, but where you can't play music? No, I, I can't. I think it would be a very sterile, clinical, uh, boring, lifeless, emotionless All right. place to be. No, can't even, can't even fathom it. All no, right. absolutely not.